This is going to be my last farming run here. I made about 10 runs. I found a bunch of weapons. Some are pretty good. I did not get the Overseer's Mantle. I got a shield, a couple shields dropped. See, there's another. The greens just drop pretty frequently. Cold, dexterity, attack speed. But I don't have the dexterity. That's the problem with all these spears. I'm short on dexterity. There's quite a bit of dexterity in the tree, in the uh, defense tree, but I don't have that very far, very well opened up yet. I do have a uh, mantle here that I found that has 13 dexterity, so uh, I'm getting closer. Let's check these mantles out too. To get a good affix. Nothing that special. It's another green shield. Let's take a look at that. And two more mantles. Yeah, I can pick up one more. Okay, so this has 6% dexterity, 87 energy, 15% attack speed. So that's pretty good. I found this other one over here too. Let me put that in so I can compare them better. The other one has 5%, 51 energy. So this one's even better. More energy, more dexterity. So I'm going to use that. I'm giving up uh, some chance to dodge attacks, which isn't that big a deal at this point in the game when nothing is really all that strong. So this mantle, pierce resistance, 80 energy. I like I like getting the energy there, but um, I'd also would like some dexterity, like this one has. And now I'm at 139. I'm going to put some more points in it, though, too. And I'm still short on all these spears. I'm going to hang on to that. And put this back in. I'm going to head over to the vendor and grab that energy potion. Go to the vendor and then we'll move on. I found a good ring over here too. During one of those runs when I was selling some stuff. What brings a it's, the, it's very Such similar to the one I found earlier. It's a ring of frost. And might that thing it's, be sold here? It's very it's uh it has more cold damage than frost burn and the other one has more frost burn than cold, but the end result's pretty much the same. So that's a pretty nice ring. I took out the brimstone, which is a decent ring if you're earth enchantment. A lot of fire, a lot of fire damage on there. So I'm okay with rings for now. I mean I definitely better things out there. But that's not anything I need to upgrade soon. I got I really need a better chest piece. And my helm's not all that great. <clears throat> It'll all come in time. I was supposed to put this one on. I left the other one on. It was an accident. Alright, so I'm going to sell this one. I'm going to sell that mantle. I'm going to keep the one with the dexterity. Just in, in case I decide to use it. I can sell this shield too. This one has 5% dexterity, some attack speed. And this one also has no dexterity. Alright, so I'm clearing out a little bit here. I had also found this sword, which is pretty good, but it's lightning and electrical damage, which is okay for melee, but it doesn't help my shards at all. And I also got this axe. A lot of physical damage, some flat cold damage. That's not bad either, so I'm hanging on to that. It, the only thing is it's a negative one health regen. So that's going to be part of my alternate setup. This is my beast setup. And I might even use this crown of the dead here at some point when I get into some heavily heavy undead areas. Alright, so I'm going to go with that. I can sell this axe. Yeah, let's sell this axe. This is the one I bought earlier. It served its purpose. 
Alright, let's move on. That's Got enough of that. Let's see what's coming up. This is Ptah. This is the guy. I was supposed to meet Imhotep here, but obviously I'm not. Hail, good hero! Imhotep asked us to watch for you. Just yesterday, this temple stood whole and complete. And now, look! It has been ransacked by Telkin. We did all we could to stop him, but we were powerless against the ancient sorcerer. I do not know what he wanted. There are many mysteries which the Order of Prometheus guards, mysteries from before the War of the Gods and Titans. Imhotep fled when the Telkin came, escaping with some of the temple's most sacred texts. He left me with a message for you. He has gone to Memphis and waits for you there. Follow the Nile and you will come to the great city. I also got my sound straightened out, hopefully, and all it was, was I was sitting in a different place and it changed my uh, proximity to the microphone and that little bit really screwed up my, the way it picked up my voice and it, it was very low and I really, I really couldn't do much about it because the game, the game sound and uh, my voice are on the same track. If they were on separate tracks, I could turn or turn the volume up or down on them. But on the same track, it's kind of stuck. So hopefully now it's okay. I did take a quick test before I moved on with the game and everything seemed okay. But that kind of sucked. With, you, know, you can't really hear anything. I adjusted some of the... Uh, game the game music I turned down a little bit sound effects a little bit but I don't want to cut it out completely some big uh, undead tombs coming up. This would be a good place to put on that uh, crown of the dead. 20% less damage from undead. So why not? Um, only, actually I'm gaining some damage from that. So let's use that. On my other character, I was doing the farming in my farming videos, and that uh, magician. I've got like two bags of uh, alternate gear that I would switch out whenever the, you know whenever I needed. I had the less damage from demons. Yes, not too much from undead, but I had more damage to undead from beasts, from beast men. You know, wherever I was, if there was a tough boss coming up, I would try to swap out whatever I needed. Resist gear. I knew what he what he had, what his damage types were. I would try to prepare for him. See, my energy isn't doing too good. I really need another Hecate's Crescent. If I can find one. Or even if it's just something to uh, increase my energy pool, even if it's not with the, the regen, even that can help quite a bit. That's the one thing. I see, I'm going melee geared. I think it'll give me more survivability. I'm giving up some damage because if I was to go with um, caster type intelligence gear, I could get some more damage out of the ice shards. Probably get some better energy also but I'd be giving up some survivability. This should be a pretty durable character when I'm done. All right, let's go in and see what's going on. Some scarabs. There. See a majestic chest in this other room coming up. Ooh, I need to open that. Okay. 
See, I'm doing a lot of melee now just because I don't have the energy to go all ice shards yet. But later I want to do mostly ice shards and just a little melee when, you know, just for when things don't go down fast or bosses. And nothing very interesting there. I want to get my rend armor, which adds more targets to the batter skill. I want to be able to just, when a crowd comes up, I just want to be able to whack them all at once. I actually like shield charge better, but it has a long cooldown. I like it because it has stun, and just that fast movement speed you get out of it. It's pretty nice. Alright, so that was uneventful. There's another one almost very similar to this one coming up. I think it's a little bigger. Let's take a look at the map. I think I skipped a little area here somewhere. Yeah, not much, some hags. There's a quest somewhere where there's a woman trapped by some dune raiders that's really easy to miss if you don't like really open up the map it's kind of off to the side it's out of the way a little bit so if you're not going to every little nook and cranny you can walk right by it not that it's that big of a deal it's just a side quest get a little bit of experience level up we're gonna do those points I'm not gonna forget them Cleansing Coil of the Glades. We've got some damage to beasts here. See, right now, I'm at the point where I can wear Intelligence Gear, Strength Gear, some Dexterity. That's my lowest right now. I'm not going to be able to keep the Intelligence stuff going for that much longer. So anyway, on this, we've got a uh, chance to avoid the projectiles, 35% less damage from beasts. Um, I'm not, it's got less armor. I think I'm going to just wear these. If I get any more of this Theban set, I'll probably put it back on. But I like this less damage from Beast, the energy regeneration. Actually, what am I, let me see where I'm at on that. Uh, 6.7. That's nah, like half. It's not even all that big of a deal. Oops. Get rid of that. Got some things to put together. See, this isn't bad. Um, I don't. You know, it has the cold resistance uh, relic bonus. But sometimes I think you can get either more health or more energy. So that's useful. I need a bigger energy pool. Let's see. Hag skin has some dexterity. All right, let's do the points before I do forget. I was opening up this defense. Now the other thing with the defense tree 
Defense Tree has the most hit points of any class, so that's another reason why I want to use it. Storm has one of the lowest. So you mix the two, you can come up with some decent hit points. It's not going to be as good as if like, you had Defense and Warfare or something. That's about as high as you're going to get. But I'll have decent hit points. I want to... I'm going to put another point in the shards. I'll get a little more damage out of them. And the other two I'm going to put into opening this up. This battle awareness tree, it's really the iron will what I'm looking for here. This stuff, I mean, yeah, defensive ability is okay. Shield block is good, but I'm not really going to be in there meleeing all that much once I get the ice shards fully going. Alright, so that should be good for now. Here's the other undead area. Gotta break this thing down, or those things will just keep on spawning. Get this one too. This batter skill, I don't know why they decided to give it, make a sound effect for it. That basically sounds like a rusty screen door or something opening and closing. Kind of, kind of odd. I think I got the outside cleared. I will go in there. I do. going through energy quick. Just have to carry a lot of potions. Get this trap. I have to get more points in my squall also so it has a, gets a bigger radius. You want to hit as much stuff as possible with it. I thought there was a door there. One decent thing in one of these dungeons. Not enough energy. Yeah, get used to hearing that. Not enough energy. Oh, two majestics. Gotta get one good thing out of here. 
take this thing out. I see a blue shield over here. You know, I'm not sure what that is. It doesn't sound familiar. Let's grab that also. It's something I don't haven't picked up recently. Oh, now that I see it, I recognize it. 17% elemental damages, so that's going to go toward my ice shards. So, but um, there's no energy or anything. I don't really see where this is going to benefit me all that much. This is very similar to what I have right now. It's a little bit more energy and health, not much. Sell it. Okay, let's get out of here. Tons of jack I'm going to get through. War bow of thunder. Something to sell. Now that quest I was talking about where the ladies captured is somewhere in this area, I think. I hope, I hope it wasn't back there. Oh, it's in this pen right here. You can miss this easy if you, you stay on the lower path. What do you that got? That was a bit close. Thanks for getting me out of that scrape. Protective necklace of the cat. So that's going to have some total speed and some resistance, I think. Fire resistance and 10% total speed. Sometimes those are pretty good. You get a, if you get one with a high total speed on it, a couple other stats to go with it. Oops, I picked up those bracers and forgot to look at them. 18 dexterity. Yeah, I need dexterity, but I hate to give up all that other stuff, all the other stats on my other ones, just for just dexterity, so I'm not going to do it. If I was really desperate to put on in one of those weapons, then I would have to. But I, I'm okay with what I got. I'm gonna need to hit a vendor pretty soon, but I don't think I'm too far from Memphis now. Thornwall, there's a shield. Sure, I have room for it. I don't think this is that great. No, it's pretty crappy. I mean, it has the plus two to Briar Ward if you're nature. You get maybe a little benefit out of it, but it's really not a very good shield at all. I still have a lot of energy potions, even though I'm burning through energy pretty quick. I'm finding plenty of energy. Need more energy. I'll take one now. Alright, did a circle there.
Let's stop here at this rebirth fountain and then we'll head into Memphis when we come back. See you next episode.